Come on, people are already making fun of me with this. What is going on gamers, Avatrix here and today we're gonna do a few things, maybe this will be a little different than usual. Now first of all, let's go over something real quick, Lost Battlefield. Now as you guys know, first of all, last week I missed a day and today I did horrible. I, I lost like two, I don't know what I was doing, I don't know if my artifacts were correct or if they were still under Guild Wars, I don't know what happened but I got my butt kicked. But going forward, I want to make Lost Battlefield a little bit more interactive. So essentially what I'm thinking is maybe every day if you go to my Lost Battlefield uh, video maybe you can leave me three teams with the heroes that I have and those three teams I would incorporate into my next video show your comments say who it is that made the uh, the teams and see how it goes and maybe make that like a daily series that way you guys can be interactive as well. So let me know if you guys want to see something like that or maybe a version of that. I'm willing to hear you guys out to see how we can make Lost Battlefield interactive because yes, I have a solid team and it could easily be a top 10 every week, but I don't feel like it's very interactive. And that leads me to my next point, which um, I want to talk to you guys about a question that I have been asked uh, actually quite a bit. I I'm surprised that I've been asked so many times. But essentially the question is, do you still roll gems in Castle Clash? And if you do, how come you don't make as many videos anymore? Well, here's the thing. I do still roll gems for Castle Clash and all that. But I'll be 100% honest with you guys. Rolling gems, as far as rolling videos, are probably at the top of my least favorite to do videos because... A lot of the times you just don't get anything and me I'm, I'm just thinking of myself as a viewer I could roll 60 70 thousand gems but if there's no excitement in the in the video if you don't get anything new it's like eh. the one time I do enjoy rolling videos a lot it's when it's a newer account and when the account needs a lot of things because then you know any any random roll that oh well that's not really a good roll like okay you you rolled a valentina but this one didn't have a valentina a lot of the ones that i get are the ones that are missing one or two heroes and while you can get lucky and maybe get one of those heroes nine times out of ten you're probably not and a lot of these rolling videos you just record it and that's it and you upload it and to me i don't know it's just not fulfilling um, I want videos where I can edit them, where I can, you know, do other other things than click a button while I'm recording and then call it a video. Maybe, maybe some understand it, maybe some don't, but essentially what I'm trying to say is that rolling videos to me are just not very fun. This is why you've seen my channel kind of decrease as far as how many rolling videos I do. It's just because it's not very fulfilling for me. The most entertaining videos that I've done lately, in like the last few days, are probably the Rockno videos where I try different talents. And that's really because not only do I try different talents out, but I also get to make the full video, edit it, cut things out, and put things in different orders. And that actually has an entertainment value for me, but it also keeps the viewer engaged. Um, and that's really the reason why I don't do as many rolling videos. I could. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with rolling videos. But for me specifically, I just, it doesn't, it's not entertaining to make anymore. That's not to say that I'm not going to make rolling videos because that's a big thing in Castle Clash. So obviously, they'll still be there. But I'm not going to be, you know, uploading. You won't see six or seven videos in a row for me. Uh, given whatever time frame of just rolling videos because this is not very fun for me um, another thing that I wanted to address is okay somebody died so I had to start over but anyways like I was saying another thing that I wanted to address is also wanting to know what it is that you guys actually want to see what kind of gameplays do you want to see 
um, what do you want from the channel as far as far as Castle Clash? Like, what exactly, what content are you looking to see? Right now, there's a lot of things that are going on, but I don't just want to record me doing every single game mode and uploading it. So I just want to know exactly what are you guys most interesting uh, or interested in as far as watching, and then that way I can focus on that like for instance lost battlefield those are kind of up and down some are well received others are just ignored so i don't know where you guys stand as far as lost battlefield so that's why i want to make it more engaging um and maybe get teams from you guys on a daily basis and then that way you guys can be engaged in that but i also want to know what other game modes you guys are really into that you feel like maybe you know we can be engaged as a viewer and also as a creator um, just to make more quality content, uh, but oh hello wait a minute. I want to beat this real quick Let me go ahead and use a stamina card. Don't mind if I do um, But yeah, I'll be looking over the comment section I'll be all over the comment section in this video because I want to know what you guys opinions is as far as this so as a breakdown I still do rolling videos. I just don't do them as often just because they're just not very I don't know they're just not very fun for me and I also want to start making the channel more interactive with you guys so if you guys want to give me some suggestions um, some opinions that'll be great um, but yeah thank you guys for watching and until later bye